Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Lily and today I am filming my 2023 spring capsule wardrobe. Um, I did film this video last year so I wasn't actually planning on doing one this year as well but I've had a few messages on Instagram recently asking if I do an updated one so that's what we are filming today. Um, last year I kept it like really really minimal and I was very strict with myself with the amount of pieces I was going to include but this year I've allowed myself to include a few more bits um, it's kind of like an extended capsule wardrobe if you will um, I think I'm not actually sure how many pieces I've got but I've probably got around 20 to 25 altogether including accessories um, so I'm going to start off with outerwear and the first piece I'm sure you're all expecting it is of course the classic trench coat um, this one is fairly new in my wardrobe from COS. Um, it's new season, so you will still be able to get it. I will leave it linked along with everything else. And if anything is old, then I will leave some alternatives linked. And I'll try and leave a couple of options linked for everything so I can cover every budget. Um, but this piece, like I said, is from COS and I just love it so much. Um, it's the perfect tone of beige. The fabric is such nice quality and it's got quite a lot of structure to it as well and um, it's got all the classic trench coat details with like the flaps um, on the shoulder as well and then at the back it's got a belt um, and it's also quite long and oversized as well which is my preference when it comes to trench coats um, but it doesn't have like too many buttons which I really really like um, and I feel like it gives it a really clean and minimal look uh, so styling wise with a trench coat I feel like it just goes with every single spring outfit and um, you can really dress it up or dress it down you can wear it for work or obviously just worn day to day casually and I just feel like it is that number one piece that everyone needs in their spring capsule wardrobe next up we have the oversized blazer and that's one of the reasons I love spring fashion so much because I feel like it is just blazer season through and through and um, this one is from Anina Bing. Um, I got this last year and honestly I wear it so so often. This is my go-to like date night blazer. Um, I wear it a lot in the winter with like leather trousers but I also love this piece with spring and summer looks too. Um, I feel like this green tone pairs perfectly with like blue denim but also with like creams and neutral tones as well and I really like this one because I feel like it is a little bit of an injection of colour into my wardrobe and um, but it's still a muted green so it still feels like a neutral and um, now this is definitely more of an investment piece because Anina Bing is at a higher price point um, but it is such a good quality blazer and um, it's 100% wool but really really lightweight and I do feel like when it comes to your capsule wardrobe, it might be worthwhile investing a little bit more into the pieces, um, just so you know they are going to last in your wardrobe for years to come, because obviously these are the pieces that you're going to be reaching for on a very regular basis. Um, and I do feel like with the amount of times I have worn this blazer, I am definitely getting my cost per wear. So the next piece I didn't include in last year's capsule wardrobe, but it is an item. I've been wearing so much already this year and I know it's going to be an absolute staple in my spring wardrobe moving forwards. Um, so this is a jacket from Massimo Duty and um, it's in that classic like boucle wool fabric and um, very like Chanel, Celine inspired and um, it's got the gold button detailing which I love and these cute little pockets at the front. Um, this is definitely a feminine style jacket so I'd say if your style is a little bit more casual then you could swap this for a bomber jacket or something like that um, I know Zara have some really nice ones in at the minute um, but yeah I'd say just like any cropped jacket and I really like this one because I feel like it's a nice like different option to the oversized blazer um, because it's definitely a slimmer fit and I feel like they give just a different vibe off overall. So I like having both as an option in my wardrobe. And then the final outerwear piece in my capsule wardrobe is a cardigan. Um, I get so much wear out of cardigans in the spring because I feel like they are such a great layering piece. Um, it's definitely still chilly in the spring months in the UK. 
Um, so I just love chucking one of these on over the top of any like casual outfit. Um, they work really well with like basic tops or bodysuits underneath. Um, paired with jeans or again with like tailored trousers and um, you can also wear them over the top of like spring dresses and um, maybe like thrown over your shoulders during the day and then you can pop them on when it gets a little bit chillier in the evening and um, this one is H&M um, and I showed it in my last haul but I've been wearing it non-stop um, I love that it's a slightly cropped length because I feel like that makes it really versatile and um, you can also wear it like buttoned up with like nothing underneath or like I said, you can wear it as a layering piece too. Moving on to tops, and the first piece is the classic white t-shirt. Um, I actually have two here. One is a true white, and one is like an off-white creamy tone. Um, both are from Cos, and they are both the same style. Um, I love Cos t-shirts. They are definitely my favorite at the minute. Um, they're like a really nice, smooth, heavyweight cotton, and they're also not too long so they're really easy to tuck in to jeans and trousers. Um, I would say that these come up a little bit smaller so I size up in mine to a medium and um, I do also have one in a small as well and that fits fine too um, but yeah I just love these t-shirts so so much. They wash really well and because they are such like nice quality I feel like they can be easily dressed up so work for the office as well um, and yeah I just feel like it goes without saying that a classic white t-shirt is an essential in any wardrobe. Another absolute classic is a white shirt. Um, I personally opt for cotton shirts most of the time in spring um, and then as we get to late spring and into summer I switch out for a white linen shirt um, but I just think for like early spring the cotton is a little bit thicker and I feel like it's a little bit easier to dress up as well. Um, so this one is from Arquette um, you will have seen this on my channel before if you've watched my videos before um, but it's a very classic style and then it has these slightly wider sleeves which I love and I feel like gives it a little bit more of a modern feel. Um, now this obviously you can wear with your tailored trousers um, or I also love a shirt like this worn open over the top of like a racer back vest with your jeans and um, I feel like that gives a slightly more elevated look to a very basic outfit outfit. Um, obviously you can't wear this to work, such a workwear staple um, and yeah I just feel like it's a really handy one to have again. Um, I'm sure everyone already has one of these in their wardrobe um, but if not I love this one from Arquette. And then next up we have a lightweight knit. Um, I love this striped one from Arquette because I feel like it adds a little bit of pattern into my very minimal and neutral colour palette. Um, this is a cream and navy stripe, um, it's 100% cotton so really lightweight and I feel like it is the perfect amount of oversized so that you can tuck it in or wear it untucked if you'd prefer. Um, I love this like button detail on the sleeves, just that little extra design detail and I always say but I love navy so much. Um, this is the only navy piece I have on the rail because I feel like with a capsule wardrobe it's best to keep it super neutral um, but if I was going to add a few more pieces then I probably would dot in a few navy pieces here and there like maybe some navy trousers. I do have a really good pair from H&M um, so I will leave those linked too. Um, but yeah, I think this works really well with like the beige tones on the rail um, and in a similar way to the cardigan, I also love a knit like this worn over the shoulders. Um, I feel like it just adds a really chic element to the look and also makes a great layering piece. And then the next category is basic tops and I have a few styles that I am loving at the minute to show you. Um, I think it's worthwhile having a few different colours of these. Um, so I have a black racerback top from Abercrombie. Um, a t-shirt bodysuit again from Abercrombie and um, this is such a soft fabric I've spoken about it before but it is double layered and just so so comfortable um, and then I also love skims for basics as well and um, so this is just like a sleeveless bodysuit um, I really like the colour of this one as well because it's kind of like a greyy slightly greenish brownish colour um, hard to explain but I feel like it works really well with other pieces in my wardrobe 
and again I just find Skims bodysuits to be really comfortable um, but again I think a basic bodysuit or like top like these um, just works so well as the base layer to your outfit and um, they are so easy to style and they're perfect underneath like blazers or like a crop jacket and if you can get a few different styles in a few different colours then you should be good to go for lots of different spring looks. And then the final category of tops are like the nice tops. Um, these are what I reach for in the evening for like nights out or date nights or even just like for a slightly dressier lunch. Um, so this one is from H&M. It's the exact same style as the one I'm wearing today. I reach for these so often. I just absolutely love the sweetheart style and the little cap sleeves. Um, they have brought out a really, really similar version of the black one this year. So I will leave that one linked below. Um, but I think any kind of like knitted top, maybe with a sweetheart neckline or a square neckline, um, works in the same way. And I feel like you'll find a top like this will be something you'll reach for time and time again um, and then I also have a silk shirt um, this one is from Totem it's a new piece in my wardrobe if you watch my last haul you will have seen it um, but I love this I love the tone of beige I feel like it works with everything else in my wardrobe um, you can easily dress this down with a pair of jeans or you can dress it up with some tailored trousers and heels um, again, I'd wear this open over the top of a basic top. Um, you don't have to go for a silk piece. Um, I will leave some satin options linked to, um, or like somewhere like Lily Silk. They do really nice silk pieces at a slightly more affordable price point. Um, but I really like the collar on this one. Um, it's kind of like a more pajama style shirt. And I like wearing shirts like this, like unbuttoned slightly with a nice um, bralette underneath like maybe one of my Skims bralettes. I feel like that is a really nice, like slightly more relaxed um, casual date night look. And then I would also personally include a midi or like a mid axi dress like this one in my capsule wardrobe. Um, this is from Pretty Lavish. Um, it's a new in style and it's so pretty. Um, I think it comes in a couple of different colours, but of course I opted for this really nice like new deep beige tone. Um, I love the ribbed detailing on this one. Um, they do also have a higher neck like racerback version, which is gorgeous as well. Um, I have that one in the green, but I really like the V-neck too. Um, this is one of those dresses that is quite form fitting and then it flows out at the bottom and I just find that to be a, such a flattering style um, especially if you're petite because it doesn't like cut you off in like any weird place um, it's really like elongating and looks really nice just worn simply with a pair of strappy heels um, you could pop the blazer over the top I feel like these two tones work so nicely together um, or if you want to go for a really dressy look then the Massimo Duty jacket or like any kind of cropped boucle jacket would work really nicely too. And then moving on to bottoms and the first piece is a pair of classic blue denim jeans. Um, I have loads of blue denim in my wardrobe but I reach for these ones from Zara a lot. Um, they are a mum jean style in, they're kind of like a light to mid wash, um, so perfect for this time of year. Um, I've had these a good few years, but they bring this style back every single season, so I will leave this year's version linked below. But obviously a pair of jeans just goes so far in your wardrobe. Um, I feel like they are just the easiest thing to style. Um, they work with every single top and every single jacket on the rail. Um, I went for an ankle length pair because I feel like they work with a lot of different styles of footwear too. Um, so I'll wear these with like ballet flats and loafers. Um, I also wear them dressed up with heels um, or with like a heeled mule or something like that and they definitely work with like a trainer or like a flat like pump as well. And then I also wanted to include a pair of cream jeans in this year's capsule wardrobe. Um, these ones are Abercrombie. Um, these are probably my all time favorite style of jeans. Um, I was going to include my blue pair as well, but I thought I'd go for the Zara mom jeans just for a bit of variety. Um, but they are the 90s straight ultra high rise from Abercrombie. Um, 
um, these ones are obviously a straight leg and they're a little bit longer in length so for me they cut off at that perfect point on my foot so that they work with trainers for like a really relaxed kind of slouchy feel um, or I also wear them with heels and with like flat sandals and I feel like a pair of cream jeans is another great essential for your wardrobe and um, they look so nice with like all neutral looks or paired with tan accessories again they work so nicely and I feel like it's nice to have a lighter option for trousers in your spring wardrobe and personally I feel like at this time of year cream jeans are slightly more practical than like cream trousers would be and then if you know my style you'll know I absolutely love a tailoring look and there are two styles of trousers which I would say are integral to my wardrobe um, the first is like a relaxed, slightly wider leg pair of trousers. Um, these ones are from Arquette. I have them in three colours now. Um, they recently brought them out in a lighter beige for spring. So I added them to my basket straight away. Um, these work really well with casual looks and also dressed up too. Um, so I love them with a chunkier trainer for day to day and then with a strappy heeled sandal for the evening. Um, I pair them with like a white t-shirt or with a shirt, um, any of the tops really. And then for the evening I'd go for a bodysuit or something like that. And then the second style of trouser is an ankle length trouser. Um, these again are like a really relaxed slouchy feel, um, they're from H&M, I feel like you'll be sick of me banging on about these now um, but I've had them since last year and they recently brought them out again for this year so I will leave these linked. Um, these are the black linen blend ones, um, so whilst I wouldn't say like black is necessarily a spring colour um, because they are lightweight and that linen fabric, I feel like they work really well. Um, they are such a timeless pair of trousers, um, again so so easy to style, um, a really really great fit and really affordable as well. And then the final piece of clothing I would include in my spring capsule wardrobe is a midi or a maxi skirt. Um, last year I went for a satin midi, but this time I'm gonna go for this knitted um, cream skirt that I recently picked up from Massimo Duty. Um, I absolutely love the texture of this one and because I'm someone that wears a lot of neutral tones, if you couldn't already tell, um, I like to inject a little bit of texture into my wardrobe just to give a little bit of interest. Um, this kind of almost feels like a towel or like a toweling dressing gown or something like that um, but it looks really really chic. Um, it's very classic, just a midi with, I think it's got, yeah, it's got a slit up one leg. Um, it flows out really nicely and I just feel like it fits me really, really well. Um, Massimo Duty is always a great place for basics and capsule wardrobe pieces because they are such good quality. Um, now this I would style with a racer back vest or with a bodysuit. Um, I'd wear it with a t-shirt and either with some flat sandals or some heeled mules. Um, you could also potentially dress it up with some like strappier sandals for the evening. Um, and it's a really great one to take you into summer as well with it being that like really lightweight um, kind of like crochet look knit um, even though it's not. Um, I just feel like it is such a nice design and yeah I really really like this one so I feel like a midi skirt is another really great versatile piece to have in your spring wardrobe. Okay so moving on to some shoes and accessories. Um, I'm one of those people that really likes to match their shoes and their bag um, so I thought I would show you the bag and then the matching pair of shoes alongside it. Um, so this bag is from Demelia London, I've spoken about this so much on my channel but I love this style, I feel like it's really unique with the like winged bits at the side, um, I love that like gold clasp in the middle, um, it's just such a chic bag, um, I wear it a lot and it just fits everything I could possibly need for every day. 
um, yeah, I love it. So would definitely recommend and it is such gorgeous quality leather as well. And then for a black pair of shoes, I love either a loafer or a ballet pump in the spring. Um, ballet pumps are massive this season, but if you don't like them, then I definitely say a loafer works in exactly the same way. Um, I'll leave the ones I have linked below. Um, but these are my ballet pumps from Prada. I got these at Bista Village recently. Um, they're very classic. They've just got the minimal branding here. And then I really like the patent toe and the little bow detail. Um, but these are just so easy to wear with um, jeans and trousers. Um, I didn't even really need to break these in. They were just really comfortable from the get-go. And again, I feel like these would be a really good work option. Next up, we have my tan accessories. Um, you guys know how much I love tan in the spring and summer. Um, I just love the warmth that it brings to an outfit. And I feel like paired with black or with beige or with green, any of the neutral colors really, I just feel like tan accessories works so perfectly. Um, so this bag is Arquette. It is a new piece in my wardrobe and I've already been wearing it a lot. Um, again, it's a perfect everyday size. Um, it'd be a really good one to take from day to night as well. Um, and I really love the minimal design and it does also come with a crossbody strap too, which is really handy. Um, and then the shoes are these ones. These are new in my wardrobe from Zara, but I've had the flat version of these for many, many years now. Um, they bring this design back every single year, but I believe this is the first time they've done a heeled version. Um, for me, this is just the perfect heel height for like day to day. Um, I'd wear this to like a lunch. Again, they'd be great to take you from day to night. Um, they are leather. So yeah, I really, really like these. And I feel like a mule and especially with a block heel just works really well with loads of different spring looks. And then next up, we have my evening shoe and bag combination. Um, this bag is from The Curated. And again, this is a new piece in my wardrobe. Um, and honestly, I feel like this was the piece that was missing from my evening wardrobe. I love it so much. Um, I feel like this is the perfect tone of cream and I love the gold accents. And um, it also sits perfectly under your arm. Um, again, it's a really great size to go from day to night. Um, and the leather is gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Um, and then I also think a pair of strappy heels are really essential to have in your spring summer wardrobe. Um, these ones admittedly aren't the best quality ever. Um, they were really affordable from Zara last year. Um, but yeah, I do get quite a lot of wear out of them to be fair because I just feel like the cream goes with everything and I really like the square toe. Um, I have just recently got a new pair of heels which I am saving to show you in next week's haul um, but I think they will end up replacing these ones as my go-to evening heel. So those were all the bags I would include in my spring capsule wardrobe but I do just have a couple more pairs of footwear to show you. Um, first up, of course, is the classic um, trainer. Um, these are the New Balance 530s. Um, I recently picked them up in this neutral colorway. Um, I really like that it's got beige tones and also gray tones on there because then I can wear them with like cooler toned outfits and also with warmer tones as well. Um, I find these to be really, really comfortable. And I personally prefer a chunkier trainer, um, especially with like wide leg trousers, like the Arquette ones. Um, they also work really well with the Abercrombie jeans. Um, and yeah, they're just like a no brainer really. Great for every day and I get so much wear out of them. And then an optional extra is a pair of flat sandals. Um, I feel like these are more of a summer capsule wardrobe staple, but I do wear them in the spring as well because I just love a flat sandal. So whenever it is warm enough to get my toes out, they will be out. Um, these ones are my Chloe sandals. Um, these aren't the comfiest things in the world, if I am honest. Um, I do think I might try and get a new pair of like cream leather sandals to replace these, 
but I do find that they go with a lot in my wardrobe so I do reach for them quite often in spring and summer and um, I've had them a few years now and they're still in really really great condition so I'd say they are quite durable and again they just go with a lot of different things so I'd wear them with jeans um, with like the ankle length trousers especially because they've got that like black accent on them they work really well um, but I also think with a midi dress or with the midi skirt these would work um, and they work with a few of my different bag options as well and then of course I couldn't do a capsule wardrobe without mentioning my beloved Celine belts um, I have the tan one and also the black one which I am wearing today um, the tan one is in the small size which I love because I feel like it works really well over the top of blazers and like midi dresses to cinch them in and I mostly reach for this one in the summer so I'm glad I went for the smaller size in the tan um, and then this one is the classic like medium size which I think works perfectly with trousers and jeans and um, now I wear a belt pretty much every single day and um, I just feel like they finish off an outfit so well and if you're wearing like a really monotone look and you want to break it up then I feel like adding a belt is perfect for that as well and um, also if you're wearing baby black shoes but you don't have any other like black in your look then adding the belt just gives that really nice like balance to your outfit and yeah just finishes it off perfectly and um, I will also leave some more affordable options to the Celine belts and um, I know Ralph Lauren do really nice affordable good quality leather belts and um, so yeah I'll leave a couple of options linked below and then the final piece in my spring capsule wardrobe is a pair of sunglasses um, these ones are from Saint Laurent and um, they are a perfect cat eye shape they've just got the YSL um, logo on the side um, but I just feel like these are a pair of sunglasses that suit absolutely everyone um, I love them with your hair down but also they look really nice when your hair's like scraped back in a bun um, and they just go with so many outfits and I feel like they are the perfect year-round pair of sunglasses um, and I do feel like a pair of sunglasses really finishes off my look um, especially when I'm shooting content I am never without a pair of sunglasses um, so yeah I just wanted to give those a mention as well and that concludes my 2023 spring capsule wardrobe good timing because you might be able to see the sun is starting to creep in behind me um, so yeah a good time to finish and I've really enjoyed filming this on a nice bright and sunny day um, I'm getting very excited for the warmer weather now and yeah hopefully that has given you some inspiration for the season ahead um, if you did watch last year's version then I hope it wasn't too repetitive um, but obviously my wardrobe staples do pretty much stay the same year on year uh, but yeah I thought I would show you some updated pieces in my wardrobe for this year so hopefully you did enjoy um, but yeah thank you so so much for watching um, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it um, and hopefully I will see you for my next video. Bye.